This poem is taken from the collection of Bringing the Apocalypse by Newport, Oregon High School's 2012 Literary Review. On watching a Warner Herzog documentary about cave art by Domenica Gavin. We watched a film tonight about caves and what we were. The filmmaker spoke, his voice like a rusty fence, and tied the data together with his story string. One man, long hair and broken gate words, had lived another life amidst tents and clowns and circus freaks. And when he went down in caves to explore, to catalog the etchings from people not quite like us, like aliens in time, he began to dream for the first time of lions. The scientists with their notepads, the filmmakers with their flashlights, shared a shiver up and down their spines, almost as if in their separate efforts to understand they were being watched by ancient orchestrators of charcoal, footprints, ghosts. We listened to the recorded silence in the caves, and it felt beyond the plastic sharpness of dripping stalactites. Like the silence there was different, like silence in a theater, silence on a mountain. Somewhere where silence allowed to return surges back like it had never left and opens up inviting us to fall in.